Good morning. Today I'm showing you a nice 2017 R-Pod RP180 by Forest River. It's the Hood River Edition. Um, it's it's in pretty good shape. It, it, it Everything works on it. There's a little bit of oxidation from the good Arizona sun, but that can be wiped off. Uh, I'll point out a couple of nice modifications on it. If you look up at this awning, that's an upgraded awning other than the normal tent type awning that they put on these. This is a Thule crown and Thule, if you know Thule, makes bike racks and accessories that are very high end. Single axle all terrain tires on there and it's high off the ground so you can tow it pretty much anywhere. It does have exterior speakers and it does have a cute little frog in a canoe. You can't get anything better than that. So as we're already to the back of it, it has four manual jack stands. They usually take a three quarter inch socket and a, a cordless drill or impact driver and that makes it work like it's a power. Now uh, this one, I don't know if this is an upgrade or not, but it does have the power tongue jack. It has two 20-pound uh, propane tanks, unlike the standard one that comes with it. It does come with a battery. And then the nice thing that this one has, oh, let me point this one out too. If you look down here, let's see if I can zoom in on it. That's an external quick-release propane valve, so those are always nice to have. Okay, the seller is including a weight distribution anti-sway bar. So you have the weight distribution hitch right there, and that comes with it. Those aren't cheap, my friends. <clears throat> As we go around to this side, it has a single slide. Um, the seller has done a few other nice things. She's put uh, um, screen covers over the water heater and the furnace. And those areas are notorious, at least in Arizona, for wasps to get in and build their nests. I've had that a couple of times. I put those on any RV that I have. She's done the same thing with the refrigerator vents, which again is a very nice feature to have. And for a small rig, the fact that it has two refrigerator vents is very nice. It has cable satellite hookups right down here, right, right in front of the wheel on the bottom. The outside shower is right here. And then there's your uh, sewer hose for uh, black and gray water. And it even has, for a small one, a black water flush. I'm hoping I'm getting that on here. 30 amp service, rear jacks, very nice. It does have um, the uh, drains or gutters, if you may, for covering the one slide. Spare tire mount. And the interesting thing about this spare tire mount is that it has a one and a half inch receiver hitch and the spare tire mount connects to that receiver hitch. So if you wanted, if you had a pickup truck or something like that and you wanted a bike rack or something like that, you could hook a bike rack or a carrying tray. I wouldn't try to uh, tow anything with it, but it's a nice feature to have, on, especially on such a little uh, small RV. And if you look right up there, it also has over, it has a fantastic fan or an equivalent and that is a vent cover, which protects it from elements, and you can actually leave the vent and fan on during uh, a reasonable rain. So here we go right back to the front of it. There's the only door. And since it's so simple, I'm gonna do this today. Let's just take a look. Um, she has modified this one for her because she wanted to have a recliner in there and so she has changed the queen bed into a short single and then there's a single this is a hide a bed right here with a dinette or, or a convertible bed to, with a dinette it'd be very easy she still has the queen mattress that came with it and you can easily with a you know less than twenty dollars a parts piece of a plywood reconvert it back to the queen bed so she's used that for herself so but if you're a single person you're not too tall 
and you just want something to go out in, this might be great because it has that little recliner as well. Also has the TV and, and plenty of storage on the inside. But since that's a, a unique feature of this one, I wanted to show it. So here we have it. And there's the fantastic fan right there. So here we have it, the 2017 RPOD RP18-18. It's a little over 20 feet, or about 20 feet total length with a tongue and the spare in the back, and it's a very nice unit. So come and give me a call, text, or email. Be happy to show it to you or discuss anything you have questions on. Thank you very much.